pretty much the first line of code we ever write is hashtag include. But it takes a lot longer to figure out why we actually do it. And then even later on you find out that there are other words to start with the hashtag just like include. And I, the man, the myth, the legend, is here to tell you about these. These words that start with a hashtag are so-called preprocessor directives. But what is a preprocessor directive? Let's look at how a C program gets executed to get a better understanding. The source code that we write gets sent to a preprocessor, then the compiler, then the linker, and finally we get an executable code. The preprocessor directives are the things that we tell the compiler to do first before everything else. So in other words, this is one of the first things that happen when starting a program. Some examples of these are hashtag include, hashtag define, and hashtag if diff. As you most likely notice by these examples, all preprocessor directives start with a hashtag. Mm, actually, they are called octothorps. Okay, now let's see what the hashtag define does. The define directive is used to define macros. A macro is more or less just a small piece of code that gets pasted into your program by the preprocessor. As an example, 12 hello or printf. So let's say we write this. Now all instances of Fortnite will be replaced with a value of 12. But now you might come with the obvious question, how are you so funny and hot and how can I be like you? And like I always say to people telling me that, I don't want to talk about it. So let's talk about why we even use define when we have variables. Think of it like the word we specify just gets replaced by the preprocessor before complementation. A defined macro may seem like the same thing as a variable, but they're actually different and the rules of variables don't apply to macros. Since the rules of variables don't apply, we can do pretty much anything. My personal favorite is to make while loops actually be if statements. Some other things to make your boss love you is making for loops just print out hello world and define common variable names like pointer as this causes problems in the program. Program. Let's also go through the hashtag include preprocessor directive. The hashtag include is used to include header files into your source code. Wow, shocker, I know. You specify which header file it is that you want to include, and the preprocessor will paste the whole header file into the source file. For this, you can either use quotation marks or brackets. Using brackets will tell the preprocessor to look for the header file in the standard directory for your header files, where normal header files like iostream are. The quotation marks will make the preprocessor look for the header file in the same directory as the source file. Brackets are often used for system header files, while quotation marks are used for user-defined header files. Finally, I think we should go through what the ifdef and endif preprocessor directives are. With an ifdef, we're telling the program that if the macro we specify is defined, then we're executing the code specified. And the endif tells the program the end of the ifdef. The value of the macro doesn't matter. All that matters is that it exists for the ifdef to execute. Okay, as it turns out, that wasn't the last directive I'm talking about. The undef one is just as it sounds used to undefy a macro. However, if the macro is used before the undef in the code, it won't go away until the undef. So in this example, the ifdef will still execute as the macro hasn't been undef yet. Okay, I know I said that there was the last one, but this is a really short one and I think we should see it. So let's also go through the pragma directive. The pragma directive is used to set options to the compiler. It tells the compiler to do specific things. However, these options are compiler specific and therefore don't work everywhere. This is an example of a pragma directive. The pragma once directive is a very normal directive to use and therefore most modern compilers have it. The pragma once directive is used to only include the header file once, no matter how many times it has been written in the program. If the pragma once option is set, it means that whenever you include the header file, the compiler looks for if the header file already has been included to avoid doing it again. Including a header file just once is good for a number of reasons. As an example, it takes memory and time to include the header file, so if you do it more than once it's just a waste of it. It can also cause problems if you have defined variables or functions in your header file, so including it more than once can cause errors in the program. Okay, now you should have a better understanding about the hashtag and directives. Unless you're a f***ing idiot. Mm, I said it. If you don't get it by now, you're a f***.